Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell here, I have a little bit of a different filming location set up and I'm actually filming in the living room of my parents' house. I really like the aesthetic of the dark furniture. I feel like the audio might pick up a little bit echoey, so definitely let me know in the comments if it is kind of an issue because then I will know next time how to resolve the problem. So the video I'm filming for you guys today is my winter essentials and I feel like this may not be applicable to all of my viewers depending where you live in the world but I live in a very cold climate country in the winter months which is about December to end of February beginning of March and that is Canada. I love having to be able to experience all four seasons growing up. I love being able to do hobbies and activities in the snow and in this type of weather. So I thought that this video would be definitely applicable for more of the people that live in colder climates and I think that some of the finds that I have to show you guys are quite good. So the first category I wanted to go over is outerwear and you know, having a really warm coat, but that is also kind of stylish and with the trend is important, I feel like, to some people. It is important to me. So the coat that I have to show you is a more expensive jacket. So spending a few hundred dollars as opposed to 30 or 40 dollars at a place like TJ Maxx, Winners, I think that you're really going to notice the difference in the quality of the coat. So the one I have here to show you today is this macage coat. And I can't remember the exact name because I remember when I was originally going, you know, through looking at winter coats last winter, it was towards the end of last winter, I was looking at a few different styles, a few different brands, I was looking up a ton of reviews. And it has this beautiful fur hood and it's the softest fur I've ever felt and owned. It is in the bomber style, I'm pretty sure it's called a down coat. I think, if not, I will pop it up on the screen here. And it covers my bum, which is kind of important in Canada when you're going to places like, you know, the arena, sitting in cold rinks on cold benches, when you're out in the park, I'm in a program where I'm filming and shooting footage for school outside from time to time. And to be covered as much as your body as possible is pretty important. And you just really thank yourself in the long run. It has two zips, so there's kind of a one zip pull together here and then there's another zip on top that goes all the way down. I love the kind of um, detailing it has here that's leather and then it has the tightened puff arms and their zip pockets on the side. I do feel like they could have added some more pockets especially for the price that you're paying. It is ridiculously warm and like I said it's super helpful when you're out in cold climate but when you are say in the car you will overheat very very quickly when I purchased this coat I was thinking you know maybe I need another size up so I can layer and the girl told me honestly first of all it's such a tight fitting form hugging coat to a girl's body it's really you know nice looking but you won't have room to layer and I thought that that would be an issue at first because I want to always have that option just in case I'm telling you I've worn a tank top under this in freaking negative degree weather and I've been okay I haven't felt like oh crap like I should have layered I got this in a size large if you're wondering just because I am a little bit bustier up here and I have some hips so I needed a little bit more wiggle room I'm usually a medium across the board in most clothing so the next category is going to be cardigans I got these within the last few years I would say and the first one I want to show you is this one from Forever 21 and it's basically like this big house coat is what like my mom likes to call it and my boyfriend likes to call it and it's just this taupe color and it looks like this it's very long I would say it hits about the knees and I'm about 5'8". The inside is so so soft. Again, it is a very very warm item so when I find that it's a little bit chilly in my apartment at school I'll throw this on when I'm you know clicking away at my desk or my mom has actually even borrowed this from me and worn it to, you know, family events. So this one was a size medium, so this one was true to size. This was more on the expensive range. I think this was about $60 from Forever 21, which is definitely up there in the inexpensive stores, but it's definitely worth it. My mom and I have got a lot of use out of it, and it's one of my most worn cardigan items for sure. The next cardigan that I want to show you is this one from Urban Outfitters. And I found this cardigan last year, I think, Sarah Bell. Oh my god, I'm calling her by her old username on YouTube. Remember when everyone had like an actual username named off like a nail polish or a makeup like product? Her name is Sarah... I don't even know her last name now. 
I only know her like old YouTube name, but she posted about this on Instagram and then Caitlin B, who used to be Glamorista16 on YouTube, both got this cardigan from Urban Outfitters in this like burnt orange brown color, which I thought was beautiful, but I knew I just wouldn't wear it as much because it's not in my color palette of clothing. So this one showed up black online, but it's actually black with like blue threading all throughout. So I don't hate it, but especially when I first got it in the mail, I was like, oh, I thought it was going to be all black. So I guess in sunlight you'll see the blue threading in, you know, in a house when it's not such harsh lighting, uh, you see a more black toned cardigan. So it's a super oversized cardigan and this one came in a size medium. So I feel like I even could have sized down because it does come so big already. And I want to say that they're like pirate sleeves that you have. It's just so big looking, which I love. It could look really sloppy. I wouldn't recommend like wearing this into the workplace, but getting coffee with the girls, just being cozy, editing at your desk. Instead of wearing a hoodie, sometimes I'll throw this on. The only thing is since the sleeves are so big and drapey, I wouldn't recommend like cooking with this or anything because you wouldn't want to like catch your sleeve on fire. And it doesn't go all the way down your arm. I'd say it stops at about the elbow. And this also goes past the bum, but not quite to the knee. It was an expensive cardigan as well. I want to say it was close to $100 but I waited till it went on sale at the end of the season last year and then I snatched it then. So the next category is going to be footwear and I think that this is such an important one, again, in Canada because there is so much snow sometimes that it is like past your ankle to your mid calf and that's hard to walk in when you have like short little boots or you don't have water resistant boots you know, warm boots that's not gonna soak through and make you uncomfortable and your socks all wet because I've been there and it's not a good time, especially when you've got to spend the day out after that. I chose to make the investment in some nicer boots. I want to say in the middle of high school, but I didn't wear them for the first, I want to say year because you know, the snow fluctuates. It wasn't a super snowy year. I didn't go skiing a lot. You know, when I went to Quebec, and I went skiing one year, these were very, very, very handy. So the boots that I'm showing you is the Sorel. I forget the style name. Again, I did a ton of research before buying this boot because Sorel does sell so many different types of variations and sizes and heights and materials. And these ones just were, I think, the best fit for, you know, what my style is and stuff like that. So I got this caramel color. It has the black bottom, has a great, um, tracking on the bottom says waterproof and then just has a little bit of a fur trim on the top I will say these were not the most comfortable to break in at the ankle like the back of the ankle They're pretty uncomfortable. I almost thought I was gonna have to put like Freaking bubble wrap or something to just like cushion my back of my ankle a little bit because it would cut into my skin If I didn't wear thick enough socks when there's a lot of snow and it's up to here It's not gonna soak through your boot and your foot is gonna stay warm So I've gotten a lot of good use out of these again. They are a little bit up there in the price range I want to say I got these for about $200, but they have lasted me. I want to say since 11th grade and I'm almost done college now so I want to say four years so the next item of footwear in this category is a more trendy boot and these ones aren't so weather appropriate but they still fall into you know the winter category you wouldn't wear these in the summer and they're just a small black ankle boot which you would have seen these in my most recent haul and I think for me especially I wear black ankle boots with many many outfits I want to say a good three times a week at least so to have something that is is water resistant has an okay amount of treading these don't have good treading so i maybe wouldn't recommend these for like icier days these ones are from call it spring and they were about 40 45 dollars so the next category is accessories and for accessories i'm talking about hat mitts and scarves so the first thing i have to show you is just some mittens these ones are black quilted ones from aritzia i want to say they're like 20 25 bucks these are warm, but again, they're not so waterproof, so I maybe wouldn't recommend these to go like ice skating or tobogganing or any of that kind of stuff. But for, again, going out for coffee, walking around downtown, these keep me warm and they're appropriate for that kind of activity. And then a nice hat, but that's still cute and fashionable. I got this one from Roots a few years ago. I wanna say in grade 12. And I've definitely got my use out of it. It was a more expensive hat. I wanna say it was closer to $50 but I'm pretty sure I got it on sale or my friend worked there and I got some type of discount, but it's in this oatmeal color and it's just so cute. I love the little bobble and it's neutral. We all know how much I love neutrals, hence, you know, wearing gray right now. And I just really like this, it's really cute. As for scarves, I remember years ago that Infinity scarves, which are those big circle scarves that you can wrap and loop around your head, were so popular and I remember having so many and I start to phase out of them 
they're not really that popular anymore. I'll still wear them time to time depending on the outfit I'm wearing, but what's been in the last couple years is blanket scarves and such a great invention because they're so big that they just look so good with the outfit. It's like that little accessory that completes it, but it also keeps you so warm. So in that room that like there's blast and air conditioning in an office in a building from time to time, more than time to time, at least in my experience, you could just wrap yourself in this blanket and you're warm. So I literally have all these to show you. I'm not gonna go through each one, but I can give you a couple suggestions as to what stores have really good ones that are for a good price range. So H&M has really good ones for the price. Aldo is a hit or miss depending, and Aritzia has the more expensive ones. I wanna say they're closer to $100, but they are a nicer, thicker kind of material. I know that you can only dry clean the Ritzy ones, so I wouldn't wear that like going out to eat, maybe, because if you are a sloppy person, which I have am, uh, you will learn the hard way with getting tomato sauce on a nice scarf. The next category is body care, and for this one, I was picking lotions and things that have to do with your skin, so I think it's super important to have a good moisturizer and these things I've used not only in the winter but in summer months too I used to be a lifeguard and swim instructor and being in chlorine water really dries out your skin your hair so having a really good moisturizer and if you go through them quick too you don't want to be getting the most expensive one so these ones will not break the bank like some of the other items I've already showed in this video but just this Vaseline um, this is the intensive care dry skin moisturizer cocoa butter or cocoa radiant it's like a cocoa nutty kind of smell. I love this one. I find that the consistency is really nice. You don't have that gross residue on your body and you can get it from the drugstore. So it's what under $10 for this huge thing. I go through it at like a decent rate. So I don't feel awful when I have to go through and buy a new one. Of course, we all want a good face moisturizer for the winter time. So this one I have to show you here is the Olay Night Cream. This one doesn't have SPF. So this one I strictly use for nighttime. I love that it's pink. It's like so cute. And this one is super nostalgic to me because my mom used Olay when I was growing up a lot on her skin. So I remember when she like put it on after a shower before bed and I'd like kiss her face before going to bed and I would smell this scent. So it just brings back a lot of those like memories and like bedtime memories, I guess. So that's kind of why I bought this one. I don't love this one. This one is my favorite. It does the job. Uh, I do recommend like the Neutrogena ones or Simple. I really like those brands for face products. And the last thing in the body care category would have to be a good chapstick. So this one is the Nivea Lip Butter. These are my favorite. I remember when these came out. I want to say at the beginning of when I was in high school and every YouTuber was talking about it and they came in like so many different scents and I couldn't find them at any drugstore because Canada is like notorious for having things come so much later in the industry of just products in general. So in electronics and makeup, it just, well, there's a little bit of a waiting game for Canada, which sucks sometimes, but these finally hit stores and I remember like clearing the shelf of all the scents. Like I wanted the raspberry, I wanted the macadamia one nut, there's I think a blueberry. I just wanted them all and honestly they're a little bit difficult to open sometimes so you have to use tweezers to pop the lid off and they're not the most sanitary because you have to dip your finger in. I don't bring these in my purse, I use these strictly for bed because they're a little bit of a thicker, nicer consistency that I like to really settle into my lips. It kind of takes a little bit of time for it to go away if that makes sense. So. I really, really like this one. My favorite scent, if you're wondering, is the macadamia nut. Oh my god, that one tastes like cookies. And the last category that I came up with was the in-home category. And these are items that I like to use in the winter when I'm in my house. So one of them being a good like slipper or moccasin. And I have these ones which are kind of like knockoff, they're not real fur or anything, from Plato's Closet, which is a place that sells used clothing, but they're more higher end brands. There's stuff that you would see, you know, YouTubers talk about, etc. So Aritzia, Lululemon, some H&M stuff, a huge variety, and they do sell some stuff brand new. So they had a bunch of these moccasins on sale for, I wanna say five or $10, and they're so freaking soft. They definitely, your feet can overheat in these, but for the colder days, Christmas, you know, the December month, wearing these while watching a movie by the fireplace is just, oh, so, so nice. I love these so much. So I definitely recommend getting a pair of these for the winter time. And last but not least, I have my big fuzzy blanket. This one is my favorite, but I really like warm, 
warm blankets when I come home from a cold activity. This one's from Costco and it's for a queen size bed. I highly recommend getting these fuzzy blankets from Costco. They wash well and they still come out just as soft. You know that those are crappy blankets that you throw in the wash and then they come out never the same not the case for this blanket. So I love this one so, so much. And I think it was 20 or 30 bucks. So that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.